Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you all for joining the prayer line. I know the Lord God Almighty will touch you all in Jesus' name. Let's go into our prayers. For those of you that are just joining, you are welcome. And I pray that the Lord Almighty will surely answer our prayers today in Jesus' name. Thank you, King of Glory. There is none holy as our Lord. There is none besides thee, neither is there any rock like our God. There is none holy as our Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent reign. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For the Lord God, omnipotent reign, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, amen. Father, we thank you for everyone that is on this prayer line and everyone that is locked on, connected to us. I ask, O oh Lord, Daddy, that you will begin to touch their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, as we are gathered again, O oh Lord, we ask that every other gathering, they are not of you, for your word says where two or more are gathered in your name, you are there. Father, I decree and I declare that every other gathering, I command such gatherings to scatter in the name of Jesus. And I say, let your name and your will prevail in our midst. Let your power prevail, Lord, in our gathering. Let your name and your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I want you to open your mouth and sing this song again loud and clear. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood there is power mighty. In the blood, oh yes, there is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Right there where you are, I want you to open your mouth and say these prayers loud and clear. Blood of Jesus, overshadow my life. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, overshadow my life. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, overshadow my life. Blood of Jesus, overshadow my life. Blood of Jesus, overshadow my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, I want you to open your mouth again and say this loud and clear. Say, every arrow of the night fired at me. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of the night fired at me. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of the night fired at me. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the night fired against me. I command you to return back to sender. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone again say this loud and clear. Say every stubborn power troubling my destiny be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Every stubborn power troubling my destiny be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Be wasted. Be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Every stubborn power troubling my destiny be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Be wasted. Be wasted, be wasted. In Jesus' name, they are wasted. You will now cry again to the Almighty God in prayers. Say, my Father, at this very hour, fight all my strange battles. In the name of Jesus, my Father, at this very hour, fight all my strange battles. In the name of Jesus, call upon the name of the Lord, my Father, at this very hour, fight all my strange battles. In the name of Jesus, fight them for me, O Lord, all my strange battles. In Jesus' name, we pray. 
Everybody again, let's say this loud and clear. Say every stubborn sickness in my life dry up in the name of Jesus. Every stubborn sickness in my life dry up in the name of Jesus. 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 Dry up in the name of Jesus, for it is written, affliction shall not arise a second time. Everybody shout it. Sicknesses in my body, dry up in the name of Jesus. Sicknesses in my life, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every sickness in my life, dry up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I know his name. I know his name. His name is Jesus Christ. I know his name. I know his name. I know his name. His name is Jesus Christ. I know his name. I know your name. I know your name. Your name is Jesus Christ. I know your name. Amen. Right there where you are, you will cry loud and say, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, arise and fight my battles in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, arise and fight my battles in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, fight my battles in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, arise and fight my battles. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. Superpower, healing power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. Beloved, wherever you are, say this loud and clear. Say, blood of Jesus, arise, heal me now. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise, heal me now. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise and heal me now. Blood of Jesus, arise, heal me now. In Jesus' name we pray. You will now say this again loud and clear. Say, any plantation of darkness in my body, come out, die. In the name of Jesus, any plantation of darkness in my body, come out, die in the name of Jesus. Plantations of darkness in my body, come out, die, come out, die, come out, die, come out, die, come out and die. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will now cry this loud and clear. The Bible says, whatever my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted. You will share this loud and clear. Say, Every deposit of witchcraft in my life, I uproot you now. In the name of Jesus, every deposit of witchcraft in my life, I uproot you now. I uproot you now. I uproot you now. In the name of Jesus, I approach you now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's open our mouth and thank the Lord. God Almighty say, Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you praises. I exalt and adore you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be adored. There is none like you. There is none to be compared to your glorious and holy name. You are the I am that I am. You are the unchangeable changer. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. The one that was, the one that is and that is to come. I bless your name. I worship you. I exalt you. I adore you. You are worthy to be praised. Glory be unto you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Beloved, I want to say the Lord God Almighty will touch you wherever you are. 
And I'm not, I'm very confident that the Lord God Almighty who has brought you onto this line will surely bless your life and touch you in the name of Jesus. This very day, I'm going to be talking to you in a very short topic. And I will call it your deliverance and your greatness. Your deliverance and your greatness. Your deliverance and your greatness. The Bible says to us in Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17. It says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. The house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Beloved, your greatness is also tied. Obadiah 117. Your greatness is tied also to your deliverance. And I'm quite sure that the Lord God Almighty will take you higher and higher and higher in Jesus' name. Now listen very carefully. What is deliverance? Deliverance is what I call ejection of evil spirits that are tormenting a person. That are possessing the life of a person. Deliverance is to lose the bounds of wickedness upon the life of a person. Deliverance is to destroy the yoke of the enemy upon the life of a person. And all these things can hinder a person from being great. Deliverance is to break the causes and the covenants and also evil causes that are operating in the life of a person. Deliverance is... I call it a spiritual cleansing. A spiritual cleansing. And it is a cleansing of either your life or you can also call it cleanse an environment. But deliverance is a way of saying you want to purge what is not meant to be there. Purge it out. What again is deliverance? It is the removal of what I call invisible load that has been laid on a person by the enemy. Deliverance is the removal of satanic embargo or what I call, I will call it satanic padlock. What is deliverance? Deliverance is the release of a person from the captive of forces of darkness. And if you are under a bondage, greatness cannot come. Greatness will be limited. Your greatness will be hindered. And so, beloved, your greatness is tied to you completing your deliverance. Your greatness, how far you will go in life, is tied to you completing your deliverance. The things you will do in life is also tied to you completing your deliverance. If a person has been tied down by the forces of darkness, by the powers of darkness, the person cannot go far, even though it's free, but spiritually is tied down and you know that the spiritual controls the physical so as many of you that are listening to me wherever you might be in the whole world understand very well that our god is a god of deliverance but upon mount zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of jacob shall possess their possession if you want to be great you must complete your deliverance if you want to be great, you must deal with the forces that have held you captive. If you want to go far in life, you must fight a good fight of faith. And you must deal with forces that are not of God, that are around you. Deliverance is to close the doors open to the enemy. Deliverance is also to damage the works of Satan in your life. Deliverance is to put the enemy to shame. Deliverance is to undo heavy burdens that have been given to, that have been put on you. Deliverance is to escape from every satanic prison. Deliverance is for you to break loose from evil yokes of darkness. Deliverance is also for you to say enough is enough. The yokes of the enemy, owners of evil load, carry your load. Deliverance is to kill every satanic embargo. Deliverance is to destroy the chains of darkness. Deliverance is to break every curse, every spell that has been issued against you. Deliverance is to hunt down and destroy what I call destructive habits. Destructive habits. Many people will never be great 
because they have a negative habit. They have a negative attitude and they need to go for deliverance. They need to ask God to deliver them. If you are still getting annoyed, greatness could be far from you. Your deliverance and your greatness, they are tied together. If you complete your deliverance, oh, you will go far in life. You will be great. You will go even beyond your own imagination. Deliverance is to send back evil arrows to the senders. Deliverance is to what? Is to destroy satanic dreams. Deliverance is to release yourself from the altars of affliction. Deliverance is to release yourself from the cages of witchcraft. Deliverance is to put yourself in a correct position. Deliverance is to break the chains of poverty. Beloved, I want to tell you that your deliverance is tied to your greatness. And how you do it matters a lot. What you do matters a lot. The hands and the things you do matters a lot. I pray that the Lord, God Almighty, will touch you and it will deliver you in Jesus' name. Now, listen, your greatness is something that you cannot put under and you cannot just put it aside. Your greatness is key to your life. God has created every one of us in diverse ways. But I know that many are still under the oppression of the powers of the night, of the powers of, the, of this world. They are still under oppression of witches and wizards. A lot are still under oppression of even they themselves. I pray that anyone that is connected to this line, that is under any oppression, the hand of God shall begin to set you free in the name of Jesus. The hand of deliverance of God shall begin to deliver you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says a lot. But it says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive delivered? Isaiah chapter 49, 24 to 26. It says, but thus said the Lord, even the captive of the mighty, the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contended with thee. And I will save thy children. The Bible says in verse 26 of that same Isaiah 49, it says, And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. With their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. As with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, thy Redeemer. The mighty one of Jacob. Listen, the Bible is clear. That there are people that will want to oppress you. There are powers that want to be oppressing you. The Bible says that I will feed them with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. I pray for somebody on this line. That every power that has been harassing you. Every power that wants to destroy you. Every power that is eating your flesh. Every power drinking your blood. I command them to die suddenly in the name of Jesus. I command them to be buried suddenly in the name of Jesus. I command the hammer of God to Crush them now in the name of Jesus. As many that are here that are saying, Lord, I want to be great, but I just don't understand. And they're still under the captivity of Satan. I decree by the decree of heaven, let there be a release in Jesus' name. Let there be a release. 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 In the name of Jesus, I decree, let the power of God set you free. Let the hand of God set you free. Let the anointing power of God deliver you. In the name of Jesus, right there where you are, I decree, let your chains be broken, be broken by fire. Let your chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Let your chains be broken. Let your chains be broken. Let your chains be broken. I command, let those chains around you, the chains that have tied you down for too long, be broken forever. Be broken now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Masandali korobo zende kedebush. Let those chains be broken. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Christ. Now listen, beloved, the Lord God Almighty who has created us has created everyone to be great. He has created everyone also to, to do great things. I want to tell you that don't let the devil put you down. Don't let the devil say you cannot get anywhere. The Bible tells us that you are fearfully, you are wonderfully made. 
the God Almighty who has made you and also given you authority. Authority has been given to man. Man has been given the authority here on the ground. The man has been given the authority. Every one of you listening to me, man, woman, you have been given authority to decree and it shall be established. You are supposed to rule here on this earth. And so you cannot afford to live a mere man. Your greatness and your deliverance. I pray that the hand of God shall fight and deliver you in Jesus' name. And everyone that is holding you down, the power of God, shall almighty begin to fight your battles in the name of Jesus. Listen to me carefully. If you don't become great, which the Lord has destined you to be, it is your fault. It is your fault. Because the Bible has given us all. It has told us several things that everyone has been destined. Especially those of you that have given your life to Christ. You have surrendered your life to Christ. You have come to the Lord. You have known the Lord as your Lord and Savior. Greatness is for you. Greatness is in you. Greatness is all around you. So if you are not great, if you are not doing exploit for God, it is your fault. It is your fault. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will touch you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the hand of God will fight for you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will begin to give you the strength to become great. The anointing power to become great. The grace Almighty to walk taller. The grace to be stronger. The power Almighty to be above. The power to be greater. The Lord will release into your life in Jesus name. So listen carefully. If you think you need to get yourself onto deliverance, beloved, get deliverance. Ask for help. Ask for help. Ask for help. If you suffer in silence, it's your fault. Because the Lord God Almighty, when he created you, he created you for greatness. He says, you should, do, you should take authority. You should take dominion over the hurt. You should, do, you, you should begin to speak. It says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee. The Bible has given you, the Lord, the Bible has given us authority. He has given us everything. But have, are you using your authority? Because you need deliverance. Beloved, if you need deliverance, go for deliverance. And you can also do what I call self-deliverance. But beloved, I want you to understand clearly that our God is a God of deliverance. It says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession for you to possess your greatness, you need deliverance and you must live a holy life. I pray for somebody on this line that any power that is holding you down from your greatness, whether it's the powers from your father's house or your mother's house, I command such powers to be buried in the name of Jesus. Listen carefully that it does not matter where you are right now. It does not matter what the enemy has called you. It does not matter what the devil has given to you to eat. It does not matter what the doctors have given to you. It does not matter what your friends have called you. It does not matter what you call yourself. What matters most is what does God call you? God has created you for greatness. He has created you for great and mighty things. So therefore, right there where you are, receive your greatness in the name of Jesus. Receive your soul, your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Whatever is keeping you under bondage as a servant of God, I command her, let your bondages be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken by fire. Let your bondages be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let your bondages be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Listen, I decree into your life uh, that any negative word that has been spoken into you as a servant of God, I decree I cancel those words in the name of Jesus. Every word that does not want, that has been assigned to keep you under. Every word that has been assigned to keep you in bondage. Every word that has been assigned to make you little. I cancel that word in the name of Jesus. Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I cancel the words. I cancel the issue dec evil decree. I cancel negative words. I cancel every witchcraft decree over your life. I cancel them. I cancel. I cancel them in the name of Jesus. I cancel them now. I cancel them now. I cancel them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for somebody on this line. Yes, you have gone for several deliverance. Yes, you have done lots of deliverance. Yes, you have prayed. Yes, you have fasted. 
it is your time to shine. I say it is your time to shine. I have a word for you. I have a word for you. Don't give up because it is your time to shine. Don't give up because it is your time for God to touch and begin to almighty enlarge your coast. So therefore, right there where you are, receive the power for multiplication. Receive the power for increase. Receive the power for increase. Receive the power for multiplication. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak into your life. I decree into your destiny. I speak into your bones. I speak into every part of your body. Receive Almighty, what I call receive divine healing. The healing power of God. Let it begin to baptize you right there where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I ask that any power on assignment against you, I command, let those powers be dismantled. Let those powers be destroyed. Let those powers be as arrested. In the name of Jesus, I decree that it is your time. The Lord God Almighty has said it, that it is your time to go into your greatness. It is your time to step higher. It is your time for you, Almighty, to move to the next level. So therefore, I ask, let the day Deliverance hand of God begin to rest upon you now. Begin to rest upon you now. Begin to rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus, I pray again for someone. I ask that everything that my heavenly Father has not planted in your life, I command it to be uprooted now. To be uprooted. To be uprooted. To be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. To be uprooted. To be uprooted. To be uprooted. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I ask. Let the hand of God begin to rest upon you. Let the miracle hand of God begin to touch you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to speak to every one of you. Wherever you are. I want us to take this seven prayer point. You will now cry loud and say. Oh God of deliverance. Wherever you are, appear in my life now. In the name of Jesus, O God of deliverance. Wherever you are, appear in my life and in my situation. In the name of Jesus, let the God of deliverance appear. O God of deliverance, appear in my life, in my situation, in the name of Jesus. O God of deliverance, appear in my business, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my career. Open your mouth wherever you are and pray with me. O God of deliverance, appear in my situation, in my career, in my business, in my home, in the name of Jesus. Appear, 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 appear. in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. You will now open your mouths. The Bible told us that Paul and Silas they prayed. They sang the Holy Ghost came down. While they were in the prison, the, the ground shook and they were set free. Beloved, I know and I'm confident that someone you're on this land, you are going to receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. You will now say this loud and clear. Say, Oh God, that answered by fire, appear. In my situation, set me free. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that answered by fire, appear in my situation. Set me free. In the name of Jesus Christ, set me free. In the name of Jesus, oh God, appear in my situation and set me free. Malipo sanda la kayaba sende kedebusha. Li kayaba le kedebo la blanda le korobo zekedebusha. Appear in my situation and set me free. Appear and set me free. Appear and set me free. Appear in Jesus' name of prayer. Everybody will now say this loud and clear. There's someone on this line now. You have been put in a cage. They don't see you. People that want to bless you don't see you. People that want to favor you don't see you. People that want to marry you don't even see you. That cage is broken in the name of Jesus. I say that cage is broken. Is broken. Is broken. By fire. Is broken. Is broken. In the name of Jesus. Everybody will cry again loud and clear. Say every ancestral cage of darkness around my life. Break in the name of Jesus every ancestral cage of darkness around my life. Break in the name of Jesus ancestral cage of darkness around my life. Be broken. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Ancestral cage of darkness around my life. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Let's sing this song loud and clear. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Everybody say this loud and clear. Blood of Jesus. Arise. Deliver me now. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Arise. Deliver me now. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Arise. Deliver me now. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Arise. Deliver me. Blood of Jesus. Arise. Deliver me now. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Arise. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Take this next prayer with fire in your voice. Say every coffin of darkness. Every coffin of darkness that has caged me down. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every coffin of darkness that has caged me down. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth wherever you are and say it loud and clear. Every coffin of darkness that has caged me down, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Coffins of darkness caging me down. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. To catch fire, to catch fire, to catch fire. Ma pori kayaba leke debo rablanda li kayabas. Ma pondolo bo skandali korobo seke debo shanda li kayaba. Ma ri kayaba leke debo sandali korobo zeke debo. Command your coffin to catch fire. Let that coffin catch fire. Every spiritual coffin constructed for anyone on this line, I command that coffin to catch fire in the name of Jesus. To catch fire. To catch fire. To cut fire, to cut fire, to cut fire, to cut fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir. Thank you, Father Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This next three prayer points, I want you to pray them with fire in your voice. Sir. And a sister, you are here, your, your, your child is receiving healing right now. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this with fire in your voice. Huh? Say, every arrow of witchcraft in my life. Come out and go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, arrows of witchcraft in my life. Come out, go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, arrows of witchcraft in my life. Come out. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus. Arrows of witchcraft in my life. Come out. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus. Arrows of witchcraft in my life. I command you to come out and go back to your sender. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir. You will now say this loud and clear. It is written that either digget a pit shall fall in therein. You will now speak loud and clear. Say, every pit dug to swallow me. Swallow your diggers. In the name of Jesus, every pit that has been dug to swallow me. Swallow your diggers. In the name of Jesus, swallow your diggers. In the name of Jesus, swallow all your diggers. Swallow your diggers. Swallow your diggers. Swallow your diggers. In Jesus' name we pray. You will say this, as the Lord God Almighty fought for the children of Israel, he delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh. He pushed and destroyed Pharaoh and all his enemy, all his camp. You will now cry loud and clear. Say, O oh God of Elijah, deliver me from every spiritual Pharaoh. In the name of Jesus, O God of Elijah, deliver me from all my spiritual pharaohs. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and say the prayers loud and clear. Deliver me from all my spiritual pharaohs. Deliver me. 
Deliver me. Deliver me from every spiritual pharaoh arousing my life. All the pharaoh that are holding me bound. All the pharaoh hindering my greatness. Deliver me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me now. Deliver me, Lord, from the hands of every spiritual pharaoh. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing this song loud and clear. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Sing it to yourself. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Beloved, our God is able to arise. For every mouth that can pray, there is a here that will hear your prayers and there is a God that answers prayers. I know a God. He says, behold, I am the God of all flesh. There is nothing that is too hard for me. Is there anything too hard for me? No, there is no situation too hard for the Lord. Your greatness is sure in Jesus' name. Your deliverance is also sure in the name of Jesus. And I want to tell you that our God is a master deliverer and is the one that will take you from this, your current level, to your next level until you get to your greatness in the name of Jesus. Everybody will say this loud and clear. Say every invisible power holding me down to the same spots. Invisible powers holding me down to the same spot. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Invisible powers holding me down. To the same spot, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Invisible powers holding me down to the same spot. Be destroyed, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in Jesus' name. We pray. You will now cry again loud and clear to the Lord God Almighty. Say, My Father, my Father, my Father. My life is in your hands. Deliver me now. In the name of Jesus. My father. My father. My father. My life is in your hands. Deliver me now. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me now. Deliver me now. Deliver me now. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want to pray for you now. Father, I thank you for your children. I pray that you will touch their lives. I pray that they will be great. I pray, O oh Lord, that they will receive what I call deliverance from you, O oh Lord. That you will touch them now and they will be delivered from all infirmity, from all yokes, from ancestral bondages, from every serpent that is arousing their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree. Let your power begin to rest upon everyone on this line in Jesus' name. Let your anointing begin to almighty overshadow as many listening to me in the name of Jesus. And daddy, I ask, O oh Lord, that if you tarry also in your coming, let everyone that is listening to me, let them be a child of yours. Let them, O oh my soul, also almighty walk in your ways. Let them live a holy life in the name of Jesus. And by the time when you will come back, O oh Lord, we ask that none of us shall be found wanting in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I thank you for as many that are listening to me, wherever they might be in the whole world. I thank you for their lives. I thank you for their parents. I thank you for also for their families. I thank you for their children. I ask, O oh Lord Almighty, that you will surround them with your anointing power in Jesus' name. No evil shall befall you. No calamity shall come near your dwelling. The Lord will continue to, Almighty, keep you every day in Jesus' name. Any sickness that the enemy has planted in your body in order to sniff your life, I command that sickness to be uprooted and to dry up out of you in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I thank you, Lord Almighty, for your love upon every one of us. And I soak all our prayers today with the blood of Jesus.
I decree that answers shall follow our prayers in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now, listen to me, everyone. This prayer line is every Monday and every Thursday. The Thursday one, there are two prayers. On Thursday, there's at 11.30 in the morning, a UK time. Then there's an 11 p.m. also, which is a UK time. So on Thursdays, there are two prayer lines. And I pray that the Lord will touch you all in Jesus' name. And also, the, there's, a, there's also a prayer, a, a Bible teaching that goes on on Periscope every Tuesday. It happens from 6 o'clock. UK time, 6 o'clock in, in the evening, 6 p.m. UK time. Make sure that you're part of it. And the Lord God Almighty, for especially those of you that want to, that want to know the Bible, you want, to, you want some good teachings on the Bible, make sure you're part of it, and the Lord God will touch you all in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful time, and stay blessed, and the Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Bye-bye.